Hey guys! I just wanted to make a video to talk to everyone and update everybody. Um, I just found out on Friday after I went to the doctor um, and had my MRI on my hip that I have AVN, which is avascular necrosis, in both of my hips. <clears throat> I'm only having pain um, on one side, but in the MRI it showed that I have um, have it in both of my hips. So um, I've been a little bit absent the last few days because I've been pretty um, bummed out and just not feeling creative or that inspirational in the last few days. Just trying to, you know, come to terms with that, I guess. Um, so if you don't know what that is, avascular necrosis is, um, it's a, like a lack of circulation or blood flow to, um, the area which results in the death of bone tissue. So, um, on my hip that's irritated, there's swelling and, like, fluid in the area and that's why it hurts. <clears throat> so, of course, the... <laughs> answer right now is to not run and not irritate it. So that's a little frustrating just because I just finally got to my goal being able to run a mile and now I have to stop running until that goes away. So um, it's also a chronic um, diagnosis, I guess. Um, so I'll, you know, it's not going away. It's not really curable. It's manageable. And there are some surgeries that can make it better if you have it um, pretty bad, which I don't think I do. I hope not. Um, but it's something that I'll be dealing with probably for the rest of my life. So that's great. <laughs> and um, I have to see a specialist, a bone tumor special specialist. It's not a tumor, but that's what the area at my hospital is called where the specialist for AVN is. And... Um, I'm actually going to go see him tomorrow. So uh, I'll give you guys an update probably just on my blog after I see him on um, how severe mine is and everything and um, if I'm going to be able to run and stuff like that after. But hopefully I'll be able to just recover um, from this round of inflammation and then start running again, you know, and just space it out a little more and not go so hard as I was, <laughs> I guess, doing before. But it just sucks to, like, know that to be held back again, kind of, you know? Like, I, I just got over all the chemo and all my sickness, and now it's, like, something else. And I forgot to mention this, but uh, the ABN was caused by my steroids, the prednisone that I am on as part of my chemo that I've been on for about a year now, pretty much. Um, and it's part of my maintenance therapy I take um, steroids five days out of every month. So I have to stop taking the steroids for at least six months. I have to speak to some doctors when I get back from my a Ireland trip that my family is taking to figure all of that out. But as of right now, I'm not allowed to take the steroids because, um, it will just make the AVN worse. And so that's kind of like a... Uh, lose lose situation. I can't take some of my chemo, which is scary. Um, I'm sure other people understand that. It's never good to not take your chemo when you're fighting cancer. <laughs> um, and but if I keep taking it, then I could, you know, ruin my hip joints for the rest of my life. And you know, your hip is pretty central to movement in the body and you might not know that unless you have had hip pain before but I have discovered over the last few um, weeks and days that a lot of motions that don't seem like they would use your hip joints they do so that's just something that I've been dealing with and I'm generally a, a positive and happy person and I can get through a lot and I know that I'm strong and that I'll get through this, but it's just, it's just annoying, and 
you know, it's okay to be bummed out and be upset for a few days or a few weeks or whatever, you know, when something bad happens, like, it's annoying. And so I knew that <clears throat> I knew that I was going to be bummed for a few days and I'm starting to feel better. I'm starting to get over it and starting to move on. But uh, it's just another one of those things. It's like, why me? But oh well. Um, on the bright side, the same day on Friday, I got home and found out that I got into the college that I applied to. So, um, that's cool. I hope I'll be able to, you know, walk and run on my own when I go away to college. But that's life. So, I don't have any control over what the situation besides how I react to it and how I move forward. So, hopefully I'll be able to find... Something else, some other way to exercise if I can't um, continue to run. And um, hopefully, you know, I hope within the next few days I know I'll bounce back and I'll be back to my normal, happy self. But, um, yeah, I guess that's a different kind of video for you guys. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Um, if you've experienced any sort of similar problems like stemming from your chemo or you know from something else go ahead and comment you know it always makes me feel good to know that other people like understand where I'm coming from and what I'm saying <laughs> so um, thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day